Hey guys, we are here today with Michelle LeSueur. Michelle's my partner on the Kimberly Plan and she's uh, got a set of skills that we are lucky to have working with us. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about adrenal glands and um, adrenal support and what that has to do with training. I was running along with my GER and we talked about the pain cave and we beat ourselves up. And you know what? After a while I had this nice lady look at me and say, Kimberly, dang, you look pretty good on the outside. But what do your insides look like? And I really didn't quite know how to, how to uh, answer that question because I didn't have the education she did. I knew how to look good on the outside. And I'll be danged if she wasn't right. And a little while later, my body stopped looking good on the outside because I wasn't worried about the inside. And uh, today we're going to talk about how we fixed me and what you can do to prevent those same things from happening. And uh, blah, 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 blah. I could talk forever. Michelle, <laughs> talk to me, talk to us about adrenal support and, and, and what is an adrenal and what is the support and why. Well, you know, when we, you and I first started working together, um, you were training so hard, twice a day in the gym, cardio, weights, everything, just hours and hours. And the body can only do that for so long before it says, you know, I can't do this anymore. It, it, just, it just starts to fail. And I have worked with so many people that have metabolic damage from overtraining and um, taking in too low of calorie intake, and eventually your body hits a wall. Wait, what's and metabolic also, damage? Metabolic damage is where your basically your adrenal glands and all hormone function just they flatline. They don't work anymore. You basically when when you've overtrained and taking your calories way too low, then the adrenals try to compensate that for that for a while. And then what happens is they no longer work. And your adrenals are what make your estrogen, your testosterone, and your progesterone. So when you look at what their people's DHEA is, you look at estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, the levels are below normal. In women, it's way worse than guys. And the bad part is, is I have 25-year-olds that are basically in menopause. They don't have a cycle anymore. They're majorly fatigued. Their hair is falling out. They have no energy. Um, they're relying on stimulants, which only make it 10 times worse. And so they don't realize this. And so what happens when your body does this is the body will start to put a layer of fat on. And you're thinking, I haven't changed anything in my program. I'm doing the exact same thing that I did when I lost weight and I got into shape. And all of a sudden, the body no longer responds. And the harder you train and the more you diet, the worse it'll get. You have to literally go in and rebuild is where you're at so so wait so what you're saying is is you belong training hard you got yourself a little six-pack you're looking pretty good your husband's patting you on the butt looks smaller and and you're doing great and then all of a sudden too much effort can equal bad you can overcook the cake for better words for lack of better words and and then your body will then do the exact opposite so it'll make that's, you gain fat and what's interesting with my metabolic damage women is the more they exercise, it's like their body is screaming for rest. And then if they try and train too soon, too fast, then all of a sudden the body will start putting the fat on. When they don't exercise and they start to rest and nourish their body, then they start to lose weight. And so it is, you know, life is about balance. You know, I've always taught you that, you know, balance in all things. Anytime you're extreme, it just doesn't work. And so it's the same thing with training. See, what people don't understand is when you work out, um, the, the adrenal glands release cortisol, and cortisol tells the body to store fat. That's, that's its reaction. Um, and, and basically how it works is when the adrenals release cortisol, the liver responds with glucose, and then the pancreas responds with insulin. Glucose is what? Your sugar. And what does sugar turn into? Insulin. And, and what does the that body, do? The, the insulin tells the body to store fat. It's a fat storing. See, that's the difference. The opposite of insulin is glucagon. And that's usually what your body releases when you're doing protein and stuff versus insulin when you're doing high carbs, a lot of sugar, like that. So the name of the game when you train is to keep your adrenals healthy so that when you get that spike of cortisol, as soon as you're done training, the cortisol drops right back into normal range. You don't want it to stay there for a long period of time. If it stays there for a long period of time, that's when you start to have problems. Okay, so this is where the argument gets fun. Because the information we, uh, and I say argument, guys, because I love arguing with this lady because I just get knowledge <laughs> out of her. So as you hear me ask questions, some of them I know the answers to, and some of them I just want a different perception because I know I had to have it reworded to me. She's very intelligent. And I had to have it kind of put into David words for me to understand. So now you kind of understand. Um, Michelle, what do we do for the athlete? I mean, a lot of the words you just used are, well, stop training. Okay, but if you're a, a sponsored athlete, which has always been my argument, I have to look a certain way. I can't, I don't pay my bills. My rent does not literally get paid 
if I don't look a certain way. And what you did is you said, David, but you created a deficit for yourself. We have to fix it. But I'm like, uh, well, I, I get it, and you're a, a nice, awesome lady, but if I fix it, I can't pay my bills. So we have to come up with a middle ground. So the information we shared uh, uh, just now was kind of for the, the mom, the, the, the dad that just wants to look better, has got a 45 minutes a day to put in, but for some reason he was putting in two hours. Those guys want to look above average, but they're not getting paid for their body. What do we do for the athletes, the, the, the Olympic runner? You know, I'll watch this guy uh, uh, run in the Olympics, and I'll go, well, his coach probably isn't telling him he's overtraining. What, what, I mean, who does he have in his corner <laughs> helping prevent his adrenal glands, and, and what do we do about that? What's your perception of all that? Well, basically, those people have nutritionists that work with them. So my, my theory is this, is if you're going to tax a system, you better be supporting it. Oh. For example, if you're going to use fat burners and you've got caffeine, which is just fries your adrenals, then you better be taking things that lift, nourish, and support that gland so that you don't go into metabolic damage. And most people don't do that. I mean, and another issue, and that's for another call, is... Minerals. You guys are so depleted in minerals, and if you really understood the functionality of what minerals do in the body, you'd never be without them. And when you sweat, and especially if you live where it's very humid and hot, you're losing twice as much as those people that don't live in that environment. But again, it's all about support. Those athletes are giving numerous um, supplements and things to support their systems and organs that they're taxing. So they, again, so they don't, they don't get to that point of burnout. And so I can't imagine anybody, we live in a stressful world. I don't know anybody that doesn't have stress, okay, just bottom line. And even what you don't understand is when your body's producing high levels of cortisol for long periods of time. For example, if you're, if you're not sleeping at night because your cortisol levels are too high, um, what happens is the body releases what's called interleukin-6, and that causes major inflammation in the body. So you're going to hurt, you're not going to feel good, you're always going to be in an inflammatory state. So it's not good. Also, when cortisol levels are going on for a long time, it causes a reverse T3, which means the, the metabolic or the energy part of your thyroid, it doesn't work. It's going backwards. It's depleting the amount that you have. Again, contributing to energy, hair loss, constipation, depression, all those things go hand in hand with that. So the name of the game is to support the, the adrenal glands with a supplement that will nourish them. And of course, the, the harder you are on that organ, or if you're already in a depleted state, sometimes you have to take two or three things. I mean, when I work with you, we go through phases where I have to really break out some hardcore stuff for rebuilding. And I have to use some pretty tricky things, and it might be three or four things. But if you're just starting to work out and you just get on an adrenal supplement, then you don't need, you won't end up in that same spot. Your body will always be supported. It was interesting. They did a, um, they actually did a study with athletes. They were professional athletes. They were runners, and they gave them the adaptogen, adaptogens, Shazandra. Um, and what they found when they took this adaptogen herb that you know they got their spike in their cortisol but their levels of cortisol dropped immediately after they got done running where those people that didn't take it it took theirs quite a while to come back All right. down so for us uh for the new education reword that and dumb it up so professional so athletes were running they gave them some supplements and what happened and then their cortisol levels dropped into normal range faster than those people you that just didn't. said the same thing what are cortisol levels? They, their body stops storing fat. How could we word that to where people that really don't understand these words and don't remember 10 minutes ago what we just said because it's their first time, what happens to the body? Um, the body releases a hormone that tells your body to store fat, and you want that hormone to come back into normal range as quick as possible. And when you take these adaptogens, it drops it back into normal range quicker. Thank you. for, for And you know what? That was for me, too. <laughs> and um, for, for, for the record, and we don't mean to go in circles, and I know everybody wants to hear what is the magic pill, because that's what America's about. But before we get there, we're going to find out, you know, I, I'm kind of a, uh, a do-it-for-you guy, but I, I also can't help but educate. So what's an adaptogen? An adaptogen is an herb that um, you can only, in, your body does not make, um, okay, I want to word this properly. An adaptogen is an herb that creates balance in the body. If you have a, a, a particular part of your body that's in an inflammatory or stressed out state, it brings it back to balance. If it's in a depressed or in a degenerative state, it brings it back up to balance. So that's what they're known for. They, are, they grow in the most 
um, broad range of climates from like 50 below zero to 120 degrees. So they've learned to adapt to the environments that they're in that are very harsh and they do the same thing in the body. Wonderful. They help the body to deal with these harsh things and so that they can create balance in the body. And that's why I like them so much is because they're amazing and the results that people get with an adaptogen are pretty remarkable. And there's thousands, and I mean thousands of clinical studies showing with the different adaptogens, um, the different things that they, you know, how they benefit the body and how they support the body. Okay, you got some people watching the video right now and, and um, sorry for my audio guys, I'm in Hollywood. Uh, that you just said supplements and adaptogens and, and these are uh, sometimes a lot of calorie free nutrition and I'll tell you what I can't make a post on Facebook saying you know I sometimes I you know I gotta be a little less calories to burn this fat but I understand I still need the nutrition thank you Michelle so I get it through a calorie free pill or fluid or, or some way to get it in me what do you say to those people that are just gasping at the fact that you're suggesting a supplement well, with adaptogens, there is not a food you can consume that will give you the adaptogens or has the same benefit of the adaptogens. So in order to get the benefit of those adaptogens, you have to consume them. No other ingredient will give you that. So my thing is, is there's nothing you can eat. And, I, and you know how I am. I mean, if I prefer you to get food from any place, um, your nutrition from food as much as possible. But there are instances where you cannot do that. And adaptogens are one of them. You have to consume the adaptogen to get the benefit of it. Same, very, very similar to why I'm taking a vitamin C from a Whole Food, guys. I pay uh, $10, or excuse me, I was paying $10 a month for vitamin C, and I started to uh, evolve my education. Michelle got into my ear and said, Kimberly, you got you to you go buy uh, this, this uh, vitamin C. And I went to Whole Foods, and I called her back twice. I said, Michelle, it's not here. She said, David, it is. And I'm looking, and I must have seen 10, 15 bottles between $10 and $20 of a vitamin C, from bear, gummy bears to, to pills to liquids to everything. And I'm just going, none of them have the ingredient you're telling me. And it's this whole food ingredient. And, and, uh, and I kept looking, and I finally found it all the way at the bottom. And it was $45. <laughs> and, and I knew I had to be on it because I just can't eat enough oranges. To You know, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to lean out here. So those carbs, I couldn't, I, I'd have to eat a whole tree to get what I get from these pills. How do you suggest somebody, you know, to evolve the course? Now we're saying, you know, some supplement your body you know, can't make. Some of them, uh, we were a little harder on our bodies, so we need extra, and because of our goals, we have to be calorie, you know, we can't get them from calories or whole foods like originally suggested. So, how do you explain how important it is to buy the supplement that your body can use, even though the industry is presenting so many um, that your body doesn't have access to use all of it, you know, the synthetics versus the whole food vitamins? Okay, well, here's the difference between the synthetic and a whole food. Synthetics um, are basically where they isolate constituents in a food to create the supplement. And the bad part about that is the body doesn't know what to do with those synthetics. If you go to any PDR, it will tell you that the maximum absorption, if you have perfect digestion, and no one does, I've yet to meet anyone that even has close to that, is 20%. Or with a whole food vitamin, because the body knows what to do it, you get 100. It's 100 percent bioavailable. So if I'm going to choose um, citric acid, which is a vitamin C that's used, and there is some new research showing that it does cause problems in the body, um, versus a whole food source and a cereola cherry um, that the body can use 100 percent over, you know, of it. The common sense thing to do is to get the more whole food form. 100 percent of something that you can use you can take a lot less of it versus thousands of milligrams of another that the body can't hardly use. Or you could go this. ahead or, or you could go ahead and um, take five times that product or the suggested serving of the synthetic and then your body would absorb the same amount as the whole food in theory I'm talking um, and, and therefore the argument would be negated with the information you just gave because it would almost no, turn out to be the same cost. No, because the problem there is you have waste byproducts. It puts Ooh. stress in the body that it shouldn't it doesn't need to have so you're you're putting so much of of it in the body that all the other um, things that come off of it are waste byproducts and then it puts more stress on the body you don't want that 
Wow. Okay. Great answer. And, I mean, even talking about aches and pains as you work out, it was really interesting. I was in a class a month ago, and I was it was on you know immune system and and different people that have all these aches and pains in their joints. And as I was talking with the doctor about it, you know, I was saying, yeah, I, you know, I've kind of noticed this and I've noticed that. And they're like, you know, a lot of times it is a vitamin C deficiency. So I started really ramp. Um, I ramped up on a whole food vitamin C. And I was taking like 15 a day, and I could not believe the difference of what it did for um, joints, you know, making your muscles. My legs were feeling heavy, and I and I don't have that anymore since I increased my vitamin C. You don't realize the common of uh, the correlation between vitamin C, muscle, connective tissue, ligaments. It plays a huge role in that in that arena. And so I'm really weird about. I mean, when I do. Vitamin C, it, it has to be a whole food form. Okay, so you just freaked me out. Okay. <laughs> I have a uh, vitamin C bottle, and I'll tell you, nowhere on that bottle does it suggest to ever take more than uh, one or two pills a day. Now, from research, and you know, once again, talking with you, and then we evolve our education about this stuff, I found out that you can take vitamin C every three hours. Um, as It'll it will give you the runs. What's that? <laughs> It'll give you the runs. Okay, so but you were taking 15. Now, some people don't take 15 pills total a day. So you were kind of revved up on it, got your body fixed. Now how many you were taking, and, and how did you know that you could take 15? Because, again, it, you'll get to a point where, like I said, if it's too much, it'll, your stool will be too loose. Mine wasn't, got, you know, wasn't at that place. Thank you for being so my personal. My body was using everything, again, because it was a whole food form, my body was using everything that I was putting in. So because I was at a deficit. I guess the point I'm trying to make, and then well, we should probably get back to the, uh, the adrenal answer that everybody's waiting for. Um, just because the label says something doesn't mean that's so. And, um, it, and it's also why you work with a nutritionist or a <laughs> And you join KimberlyPlan.com, no shameless plug. Thanks for telling us. <laughs> a little bit more for this amount of time, and then we pull you back. Well, that's how I learned it. So... You know, we, we just get in the, we get in the circle and this, this uh, what is it, the guys, I, I like to call it the pursuit of uh, health, the, the, the look of it, and the extension of life, right? So uh, thank you for sharing. We'll go into a lot more on this kind of stuff, guys. Michelle, what, getting back to um, the metabolic damage that can be caused from adrenal failure and or let's say it's not even metabolic damaging, um, we just have adrenal failure. How do we fix it? Well, we'll that's, prevent it. yeah, that I would work on preventing it, fixing it. I mean, you're looking at for guys, it's about three to six months. For women, it's six months to a year. I mean, depending on where you're at. I always go by this: when you are at, um, when you're on flatline, where you're literally at adrenal failure, and I mean, and this is where your body doesn't even have cortisol. You actually have to take cortisol to bring your levels back up into normal range. So, you know, you have three different stages of adrenal. Um, problems. You have first where your cortisol levels are elevated and your DHEA levels are elevated. Then you have stage two where um, your cortisol levels are um, elevated and your DHEA is depleted. And then you have where basically you hit rock bottom and you have no DHEA and no cortisol. And that's not good. And your body will become what they call a salt seeker. That means the adrenal cortex relies on sodium. So you have all these fitness people that cut sodium out of their diet, which is so stupid. I can't even tell you. And then they increase potassium, which causes <laughs> a whole problem. I in did that in the beginning. <laughs> transfer into your cell and transfer out. I was just told and to take have, potassium. Come on now. No. When you... When you when you switch up those two combination, you know, because they oppose each other, what happens is nothing can transfer into your cells and waste cannot transfer out. Not a good picture. But if you find that you're craving salt and you're tired and you're fatigued and you're not having a cycle, if you're a female, um, guys, your testosterone will be low. You'll get real emotional and needy. Girls, you're mean and ornery. Scary when women don't have testosterone. And um, so when you're finding all those things going on, it's because you've literally flatlined and the body is looking for salt, trying to repair and restore adrenal cortex. So when that happens, I actually will use a supplement specifically for the adrenal cortex to help rebuild it. And then if I have you where you're at a medium stage or I'm looking to keep you from going there, then I use a product called ADR. And sometimes I have to put, if you're at adrenal failure, um, I actually have to give you cortisol, and I'll put you on both of those supplements to bring you back around. 
Okay, um, before we go, what is DHEA? You've mentioned it a couple times. You've said it's a big deal, but what is it? Let's talk about that because all these fitness people are so um, worried about fat making them fat. And really when you have the right fats, they actually cause you to burn more fat in your body, so they don't understand that. But when you cut fat out of your body, especially cholesterol, okay, this is what this is the chain reaction. When you have cholesterol, my favorite source is from eggs, fish oil, those are the to what I call healthy cholesterol. Then what happens is that keeps your body from producing the, the next hormone that cholesterol produces is pregnenolone. Pregnenolone, um, they did autopsies on a hundred people that had Alzheimer's, and what they found was they had no pregnenolone. So pre the hormone pregnenolone protects you from uh, Alzheimer's. So that's a very important hormone. Pregnenolone makes the hormone DHEA. DHEA is a hormone that helps with fight or flight, um, you know, those kinds of things. And then DHEA makes estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. So when you cut fat out of your diet, you are literally blocking five hormones. And same thing when you take cholesterol blocking medications, it blocks all five of those hormones. And so it's really important, you know, I, I, I try to explain to people, and this is really interesting that I always find. All my fitness people, when I look at blood work where they hit metabolic damage with the girls, of course, they have no hormones of any kind. They're just gone. Then they also have elevated cholesterol. And you're thinking, wait, they're not taking any fat. But it's because if you don't get enough cholesterol in your diet, your liver will make it because you will die. Right. Half of your cell walls are made from cholesterol. Cholesterol is essential for life. And so... You know, I'll see my fitness models, they have like, their cholesterol is like 294, but when I look at their heart risk ratio that tells me whether or not they're at risk for a heart, heart attack, it's at like 0.5. And um, normally when someone has a, a cholesterol of that and they've got a heart, you know, where they've got plaque and stuff built up, their, their ratio is going to be around 5. So you can see the difference. 2.5 is where you kind of want it, but... Um, so cholesterol is really important, and it helps make these hormones. And when you cut fat out of your diet, which to me is the worst thing you can do, you don't realize that that fat, you know, 60% of your brain um, function requires healthy fats. You need it for your skin, your joints, um, your hormones, as we talked about, all cell development. And so these, these models cut this out, and they just don't realize the problems that they're creating for themselves later down the road. Okay, so... Essentially, what you're telling me is is uh, DHEA, the lack of it, and uh, we all know what this means, guys. Will rob you of your GER in every yep. and in the women yeah, too. Testosterone, yeah. And so, without the testosterone, how are you supposed to build good muscle? Sure. And um, and, and you're pretty. And guys, it's not a pretty sight to see needy, emotional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice plug. <laughs> That's women are after, trust me. All right, so um, <laughs> we understand adrenals. We understand kind of the roundabout conversation about them and, and kind of what all they, the effects that they can have negatively on the system. And uh, I think metabolic damage is a whole other conversation. I think minerals and a couple other things, we can make videos on all this fun stuff. And even we could have a whole video on potassium versus sodium and, and uh, how to make sure your ratios are right. What? You mean I have to have a certain amount to absorb the other amount? That's a whole other conversation. It's very yep. deep. And it's true. What specifically, if you're watching this and you really connected with some of Michelle LeSueur's adjectives, what would you go and buy? Where would you buy it? How much do you think it's going to be? And how long should you take it? Well, if you're working out, and you should be on adrenal support, period. I mean, it will make a difference in how you sleep, how you train, all that stuff. So that is a must. Um, ADR, I sell it on my website, um, uniquehealthandwellness.com. It should be at, on the Kimberly site soon. And um, that one runs uh, $34 a bottle. A bottle will last you, I think, two, um, one or two months. I want to say it's either a 30 or 60 count. I can't remember. And then, like I said, but if you're, wor if you're at a place where, like, oh, you've been training and you're really starting to feel bad, you're going to need the adrenal cortex with it. And that runs, I want to say it's like $28 for a bottle. I would do one bottle of Adrenal Cortex with the ADR for one, you know, one bottle each and then just use the ADR for support. And the uh, serving sizes are on there? They're on there. And I, uh, what you do is one a day. All right, guys. Um, you did not watch this whole video for a sales pitch at the end. Notice <laughs> how we didn't really try to sell it. <laughs> we are just trying to... Uh, 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 educate you and give you all the knowledge that I've used to, you know, 
eventually be able to create money with my body. And this nice lady, I'm going to call you out. How old are you, Michelle? 51. You should see her body. And I say that out of respect. <laughs> when her husband will kick my butt. But um, this, this lady is well put together. Uh, we want to call it just simply oxidation of the body, free radicals, just your body wearing out and the look of it is, is uh, avoiding her. Or we could look at it the other way and she's prevented it. And, um, and I think it's a, it's a good equation to follow. We are not in the money to make an, uh, we don't want to make a lot of money on supplements, so we don't care. These are things highly suggested because I take them and they work and Michelle's been using them for years and we have clients and clinical research and everything says that this is a, um, a big part of your equation for success or to guarantee that you'll even have it. So. Well, and if you look at a lot of models, this is what I find interesting. A lot of them will go for a year or two and then they all crash and burn. And they Me? can't do the job. I Me? see this consistently. I mean, uh, I'm working with a girl right now, and I made her take the six months. You know, she's a fitness chick, and, and she was a, a size that she needed to be on stage, and she dieted down too hard, and that'll go into the metabolic damage, and we'll cover that later. But she uh, she hurt herself, and it's taken me six months of, of building her up and then giving her 3,000 calories a day. She wants to right. smack me trying to fix this issue that she's caused herself. So uh, what happens is 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 just like my argument with you was, and I guys, back to that story, I lost that argument. Michelle said, you're gonna have to figure out another way to create revenue for these months when your body can't, because you know what, you broke it. I don't know what to tell you, stop bucketing water, the ship is sinking, get out, swim to shore, rebuild another one, and come out here and catch some fish. But don't, don't, don't waste your life, get more frustrated, cry into your pillow, do the same exact thing that worked for you really well, 25 covers later, worked really well, because it's not gonna work. Yeah, eventually you crash and burn. All right. I love you, Michelle. Love um, you too. You're amazing. Kimberly Plan members, I hope you guys appreciated this. And um, once again, uniquehealthandwellness.com. Correct. And you'll want to take the ADR if you've just started training, and this will be your maintenance product. You'll be taking it, you know, probably forever. And uh, if you plan on, you know, really being a, an effort kind of guy, even a, what, what would you say to a, just a contractor that's that's burning calories or a cement worker or something that's just well, uh, a UPS anyone, driver? I mean, anyone that has stress in your life should be on something. Oh. So if you've got I mean, a 16 year old daughter and she's not coming home till one, then yes. take take some of this. <laughs> yes. All right. Well worded. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michelle, we'll catch you on the next one. Any uh, words of encouragement for anybody that's dealing with this? Uh, well, we'll say any of the adjectives you used. Any, any of the... Uh, Just remember, it's fixable. Oh. Don't believe that this is the way it has to be. It can improve and it can change. It's all fixable. And if you don't think you have a problem, friends, if you have any gur in you and you're using it at the gym, I swear to you, you will. So <laughs> this is not something we wait until... Uh, you know, the tire's all the way on the rim, and then we decide to fix the flat. If you, if you notice a little bit of error out of that, even if you have to test the PSI to make sure that it's a little bit low, just double-checking yourself, you will realize that it is dropping and you need to fix it. So, like I did, but I was too late, and I met Michelle a little bit too far into my gur. Yeah, but look at us five years later. Oh, we're still now covering. Everything, I appreciate you. Everything is, you're consistent and where you weren't when we first started. And you know, I've got more money coming in the door, more sponsors, more obligation, more stress. And, um, and, and I can't take another year time out. And uh, for the record, I appreciate you helping me uh, get my body fixed uh, on the inside so we could get back to being able to be sold on the outside and, uh, and doing it in a timely manner. <laughs> <You know? laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks, Michelle. All right, you're welcome. See you soon. Yes, ma'am.